A jet black shadow slicing through the darkness, a massive beast with claws that rake the flesh of any person foolish enough to enter its realm. The Ender Dragon, the final boss of Minecraft and a foe I had never faced. I was determined to slay this monster, and I would do it in hardcore mode, where if you die once, your world gets deleted. But before we get into this tale, I wanted to announce that my first merch drop is going live tonight, Halloween, at 9pm EST, so go get yourself some epic clothes. Now where were we? See, our story picks up directly after part one. I had just fought off a pillager raid by the skin of my teeth, and I was now taking stock of the situation. Give me all of these! Ooh, yib. I'd gotten a lot of loot and experience from the raid, as well as two totems of undying, which would assist me if I reached zero health in combat. Ooh, this boy took a beating! Come here, brother! Good as new! Ooh. I next let out the villagers who I'd barricaded in their homes for their own protection. It is now safe. You may once again roam your fields. What's up, brother? I'm just going home. Heck it. Now, I wanted to beat Minecraft. However, I'd never fought the Ender Dragon before. But I was well geared. I had powerful enchantments on my bow and sword and some light enchantments on my diamond armor. Hop. We gotta go this way. With the raid now complete and the village I'd found in the snowy waste safe once again, I went to return to my home. What in tarnation? Why the heck? The hero of Kavach! Home! I built this town to withstand a freaking siege. Welcome. Horsey, there's Chunk. We need to do some serious housekeeping. It's a long tale that I told in part one, but the villagers in my town had been massacred, so it was just me here in my large tower. And it had been a while since I'd been home, so I checked out my boxes for what loot I had. Okay, so next step, blaze rods, right? I need blaze rods. Now I knew that to get to the end, I needed to find an end portal, and I would get there by making eyes of ender, which were made by combining blaze rods and ender pearls. So to start, I needed to go to the nether and kill blazes to gather the necessary blaze rods. Who goes there? I heard you! Sit down! Now before I headed to the nether for the blaze rods, I wanted to go on a diamond mining expedition. My armor's durability was low and I needed diamonds to repair. So we're back in the mine. I headed down into my mine. And they call it a mine. A mine! What's up here? This seems like a good direction. We're not having much luck with di- Bruh. Easy! Gib. Oh, we're getting, ooh, this is a fat little redstone chunk. Now I was streaming this whole adventure on my Twitch, so I was getting lots of advice from my mostly helpful Twitch chat. I don't need the redstone. I know I don't, but I just always do it. It's shiny and it makes a little sound, so I have to. My brain likes the little chemicals it gives me. The dopamine, man. Oh yeah. Ooh, lava. I carved through the rock and eventually came to a natural cave. Oh, hello. at you. I'm about to murder you. I'd killed an Enderman. I needed to kill a large number of them to get Eyes of Ender, so this was a good start. Ender Pearl. Now the cave I found opened into a wide ravine and a mine shaft. Oh. Hello. God, it's so dark. Oh, there we go. I went to explore the mine shaft. Hopefully I could find more diamonds. I ain't the one to try it with, Buster. Woo, boy. Bruh, this is like a lot of noise going on. I'm not looking at y'all. More Endermen. This was good. They were a fairly rare mob, so any chance I had to kill one, I had to take. Why won't? good number of diamonds, as well as a few ender pearls, I decided to head up and out to return home and repair. Let's start digging out. Heck, this freaking cave, dude. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to do this the old fashion way, bro. Ah! Jesus Christ. Oh, well, alright. Up and out, gamers. Gamers. 
Now back at home, I took a quick break to play some trumpet and relax before I headed into the nether. Is that right? I can't believe you've done this. Right there. I got all the diamonds. Let's repair everything. Gamer jorts. High top air maxes. I now repaired my armor to prepare for the perilous nether trip. I also made some more golden apples, then I went to return to my mine to enter the nether portal I'd made. Here we are! Blazes, we gotta go bop some blazes. We gotta go find a nether fortress and bop some blazes. Now in the nether, I started wandering, looking for a nether fortress where there would be many blazes to slay for their valuable rods. In the nether, you turn them off. A uh, yeet! Oh. Absolutely ruined. I know I'm not gonna sleep in the nether, guys. I explored the nether and farmed some nether quartz, which would yield me great experience. See, I one-shot them now. They don't stand a chance. After some time seeking a nether fortress, I finally found one and approached it. Oh, I did... Hello there. <laughs> Bruh, momento. I'll be taking that if you don't mind. Can't go down. One shot. Oh, oh, okay. Ooh, this, that's a spawner. Just dig down right here. After some scouting on the cliffs above the fortress, I saw a blaze spawner. Oh. Arrows away! Bop. Oh! Now down at the fortress, I wound my way across the parapets towards the spawner, fighting mobs as I went. Ooh, you're an angry boy. Ah! Ooh. Oh, I tried to I tried to be fancy with the dodge. That was unnecessary. Now close up at the spawner, I battled with the stream of constant blazes. Oh. Yeah, one shot. One shot, buddy! Mess with it. Bro, you- I'm not even- you haven't even spawned yet and you're smacking me. Look at this little fellow on his little island. His little- his little island. He lives there by himself. Excuse me! Oop. One mo? Oh! Oh! All right, let's ditch. With the requisite 10 blaze rods, I went to escape from this fortress. Oh. I trekked across the nether back towards the portal. Big Bird, this is Bravo 6. We have the package. I climbed up out of my mine and headed home. It was the middle of the night when I returned, so first I got some much needed rest. Then when morning came, I turned the blaze rods and a blaze powder to craft the eyes of Ender. But I was missing much of the other ingredient, ender pearls. I only had a couple of them, and I needed 10 at a bare minimum. Having extra could be crucial, so I was aiming for 12 to 14. Goes right there, into my chamber of learning. I crafted myself a map and set out to find a desert where endermen would be more plentiful. Well, that's a big ass map. Find some ender boys. Now, endermen don't always drop ender pearls when they die, so I needed to kill a lot of them. Come here, chunk! I don't want to put it in my offhand, though, that's the thing. I started off wandering the area near my home and filled in my map. Three days of lights pursuit. No food, no sign of our quarry. You can kind of Skyrim horse up things, and I like that. Oh, almost did. Oh, oh, it's a llama. Heck the map. See how shiny that, it like blocks everything else out. Can I just like be a horse archer? <clears throat> no! This is just bullying. Oh, hello. 
target acquired. Bop. Another pearl from my objective. See, I wanted to find a desert where endermen would be plentiful. I searched far across the lands, first by horse and then by boat. I found distant villages, followed valuable treasure maps to buried treasure, and explored the rough wilds far from any known landmark. That cave is a spookster. This is like the gates of Arganath in Lord of the Rings. Yet after a while, mounted again on my trusty steed, I found my way back towards the lands surrounding my home. I'd been unable to find any deserts on my distant travels. Hello. Now back at home, and with some good loot, but only a few ender pearls gained, I needed a new strategy to find endermen. There was a big plains air. A band of pillagers had roamed near my town. You really want to do this, huh? I already clapped all you boys. One shot. Nope, I guess not. Alright. Milk a cow. Okay, I'm gonna grab a bucket. Come here, little doggy. Nice. Now I decided I would just wait till night and wander the fields near my home looking for endermen. At sundown, my work began. Oh, that's an ender boy. I ain't looking at you. But now I am, bitch! Welcome Woo! back. Woo! No! That was a close one. I almost got gamer boom. Oh. This is the freaking spider brigade! One shot, one kill, brother. Yeah, come get it, bitch. Okay, angry boy. Okay. Clap! This is definitely the spot, though. Now, endermen were much more common at night, so I had to bide my time during the day. I literally have never Welcome. used TNT before. Set it on fire with flint and steel. <laughs> Should I make a diamond shovel? We are swagged out now. How fast does this bad boy dig? What kind of digging capabilities? Holy heck! With some idle day pastimes complete, it was now dusk and I returned to the fields where I'd seen the Enderman. And it is night! Where is Enderman? Is that a zombie villager? Why does he look funky? What the hell is even that? What you doing over there, big dog? Oh, you're trying to teleport. That's a lot of zombos. Zombies. Zombie gamers. I've never seen this many zombies. I still needed a number of ender pearls, so I spent the next few nights battling it out with these dark, slender creatures. Hiya! Planning on it at some point soon. Holy! What? Ah! You are furious! Art thou angry? After multiple nights of searching, I now had the 14 ender pearls that I'd been aiming for. I turned home, added a couple more enchantments to my armor with the extra experience I gained, and finally went to craft the eyes of ender I'd need for the end portal. Okay. Blaze rod and ender bla- okay, so. In crafting table. Oh. Alright. It was now finally time to begin my search for the end portal. I would find it by throwing the eyes of ender into the air. They would then float towards the direction I needed to go. Throw it and follow it? Now go that way? Okay, this is the right way. I'm doing big brain moves. Now this was all new to me. I hadn't understood how Eyes of Ender even worked until now, but I was feeling confident. I'm gonna get a little farther this direction. All right, this is a good spot. Okay. Oh, okay, this way. Yay! I spent some time wandering and tossing Eyes of Ender as I explored. I repeated this process of tossing and following a number of times, while my Twitch chat advised me on some strategies for taking down the Ender Dragon. I feel like I'm prepared for the end. Careful there, sweet cheeks. 
After some time, I came to the shores of a great ocean. I was sure I was nearing the portal now. Oh, I accidentally clicked. Oh, oh, okay, we're real. It's like right here then. I'd finally identified the approximate location of the end portal. Let's start digging, brothers. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. So, 47... Oh! I'd broken into a dusty, abandoned library. The portal was close. We're in. Heck off. This place had an air of ancient, forgotten mystery. Oh, there is. There was treasure here. Oh, wow. Some tomes of enchantment lore. What the? I might turn off shaders. I searched the dungeon and fought off some enemies. Is it Silverfish Spawner? I'd found the portal. Once activated with my eyes of Ender, this would bring me to the end and face to face with the Ender Dragon. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh, boy! I placed the eyes of Ender into the slots on the portal to activate it. Oh! <laughs> Whatever happens in here, it's been an honor, gamers. Okay, alright. What are my first moves? I was in the end now. It had begun. I could see the health of the Ender Dragon. It started immediately. I had to focus. I could do this. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of them. Yo, you guys weren't kidding. There were Endermen everywhere, and if I looked one in the eyes, it would aggro onto me. I had to be very careful with where I looked. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. I need to climb up that thing. Oh, I killed one! Oh. I destroyed my first end crystal on top of a pillar. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. These crystals healed the Ender Dragon when it came close to them, so I had to destroy the crystals before I attacked the Ender Dragon directly. Nice! Another one. Another crystal down. Now I saw there was a small gap in the metal casings on some of the pillars. Nice! The perfect shot. Another one down. Did I get kind of- ah! I did that one? Woo! There's Ender Boys up there. Why are they up there? One's angry at me, isn't he? I'd aggroed some Endermen by accident. I had to kill them fast. Okay, one down. Okay. Let's get this one next. Nice, nice, nice. The dragon was swooping between the pillars, occasionally spitting toxic purple vapors at me. Now there was just one healing crystal left, and I was having a hard time hitting it because this pillar was so tall. Snipe! Oh! I don't have an angle. Like, what, what? Oh, it was out of my range. So I decided I was gonna have to climb the pillar and destroy it up close. As I climbed the pillar, I realized just how high I was. This was terrifying. I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. You gamers see that? Are they all gone? I destroyed the final crystal. Now I could directly attack the Ender Dragon. All of its healing crystals were gone. All right. Oh! I began firing arrows at this fell beast. Even with my powerful bow, it would take a lot of hits to slay this dragon. Ah! Oh, he's... okay. The Ender Dragon landed and aggressively flapped its wings, but was impervious to damage. Maybe I could attack with my sword during that time. 
approach from the back and hit his belly. Oh! Angry Ender Boy. More Endermen were now charging. A few of them. I need to well deal gone. with this. But there was one attack that I didn't know the Ender Dragon had, and I was about to learn it the hard way. Hit his belly. From the back. Where's he gonna land? Where are you going, buddy? I am a gamer! I'd survived the fall with some quick thinking. I'd thrown water just as I landed, saving my life. Now to keep attacking my winged nemesis. Bruh, stop! The dragon was weak. I continued my barrage of arrows. Died, it let out one final cry. I'd done it. I'd killed the Ender Dragon on my very first time facing it and in hardcore mode. I was proud. Get the XP? Where's the XP? Gib. I gathered up all the XP that it had dropped. Now I saw the dragon egg on the podium in the middle. My chat advised me on how I could loot it. Okay. Boom. Gamer moment. Now with the dragon egg obtained, it was time to return home from the end. My adventure complete. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm live streaming on my Twitch right now. Come say hi and make sure to go buy some limited edition merch that is dropping today on Halloween night at 9 p.m. EST. Also, go follow my Twitter, my Instagram, and my thumbnail artist too. All the links are below in the description. This has been your friend Wellen, satisfied at the conclusion of another exciting tale. I'll see you next time.